After almost one month of uh, suspension, Indian missions in Canada will start processing visa application for Canadians who wish to visit India uh, in the upcoming days. Uh, the decision was taken yesterday and uh, uh, the mission has said that it will process visa, especially urgency visa, student visas, visas for medical uh, care or visas for people who wish to attend any conferences or official engagements. Uh, tourism visa still remains a no-go area and uh, the staff uh, there will not be processing that application right now. Uh, we have also seen a Canadian side uh, suspending in-person visa in India. About three of its mission, they have been, you know, practically shut down because of the uh, number of diplomats who were pulled out from India after India's insistence that Canada maintains a rank uh, and strength parity. Uh, about 20 of Indian diplomats are present in India, uh, in Canada, and India has asked Canada to abide by the same number of diplomats uh, presence in India. After that, a lot of negotiations happened, and about one months after India's notice, uh, 41 of Canadian diplomats had to be called back in Canada. And that has put a lot of pressure on Canadian missions in India and uh, the processing of visa uh, is delayed. Canada has not suspended any visa processing. Uh, they continue to uh, accept application but of course with a limited number of staff and uh, the administrative work will take it all and uh, the, 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 the continuous and the large number of visa application will not be entertained uh, or not be processed in due time because about 2 lakh Indian students every year go to Canada for higher studies. There are thousands of families who uh, go to Canada to meet their families, their loved ones. Uh, those are the issues uh, uh, that, that are not being addressed right now. The priority for India has been uh, to address the national security concerns, the, uh, the safety and security of its diplomats in Canada. And uh, addressing that, India had raised this question of uh, you know threat and intimidation being given to Indian diplomats in Canada, which eventually stopped them from furnishing their duty and kind of suspended uh, all major uh, operations including visa processing. Now what will happen uh, to the normalcy in the India-Canada relationship? With the latest uh, visa application process resumption in Canada, it looks that there has been going on some sort of back channel talks between the two sides where uh, people to people exchange and the number of thousands of number of families uh, who have been impacted by the diplomatic law between the two sides, their concern is also being addressed by the two sides. Also, uh, the security uh, apparatus in Canada is probably doing something to the satisfaction of the Indian uh, government because uh, two, three days ago it was reported uh, from sources that uh, the Indian government is reviewing the entire security threat uh, to its diplomats and uh, people or staff in Canada and after that any decision will be taken on resumption of visa. External First Minister Assistant Shankar had also hinted two days ago that uh, he hopes and his expectation are that there will be some improvement and the visa processes uh, processing might start soon. So after all these things, the visa resumption, uh, visa service resumption has started in Canada. Uh, the main thorn in the in the relationship that the Hardeep Singh Nijar skilling uh, being the blame of that being put on Indian agencies uh, by Canadian Prime Minister that remains there and India uh, has asked for evidences. India has asked for any substantiating uh, document. Or proof that would uh, you know ask for India's cooperation. India has said that it will cooperate in the investigation, provided they are given uh, some sort of evidence or substantial uh, proof that the Canadian government has alleged that Indian agencies uh, were involved in the killing of Hardeep Singh Nichar. India has also asked uh, so many of Canadian diplomats to go back because uh, they have had proofs of them being involved in some way in domestic politics of India. There were uh, incidences where uh, people from Punjab and other states who had anti-India sentiment and who were uh, anti-India uh, in a way uh, they were uh, they were a supporting Khalistani uh, movement also they were given visa and in a way political shelter were provided by Canadian side to them. Also there were uh, evidences that Canadian government did back the farmers agitation two years ago uh, happening in India. So these were the issues that didn't go down well with the Indian government and uh, they were probably waiting for a right moment to uh, you know, deal with it and when Canadian side alleged that uh, there has been some role of Indian agencies in killing of Ardip Singh Nijar, what role, what scope, uh, that is still not clear from the Canadian side because nothing has been put in the public domain. Uh, after that, India, uh, you know, asked Canadian side to remove all the extra number of diplomats who are in India, about 41 of them had already uh, gone to Canada, about 20 uh, of them are still in India who are doing a lot of administrative work and visa processing. The visa processing in person has been suspended by the Canadian side also in Delhi, uh, but uh, will they also resume 
more services or more number of visa application process will be uh, tried right now. That remains to be seen. But for now, as a major respite, as a major relief for thousands of families and students uh, who were in Canada and who wanted to visit India to their families and uh, for any uh, other emergency or official work, uh, they will have some sort of relief because of the Indian missions in Canada starting all the visa application process and uh, issuing visa services very soon.